There's been a lot of horsing around in the news lately. And if things continue this way, there'll be no Durban July. I'm telling you, South Africa. But let's be real. Hmm? Let's be real. Let's not be surprised. Hmm? Disturbing things like donkey burgers have been going on for years. Mr. Chinwag disappeared. Where is he? We last saw him in the 90s. We ate the guy. We ate the guy. And no one blinked an eye. It was like, hmm. We should not be shocked anymore, South Africa. We should not be shocked. And the same goes for corruption. Hmm? Corruption is such an everyday thing in our country that we are not surprised anymore. Hmm? We should not be surprised. In, in fact, we should think of the government as co and corruption as one thing, hmm? like salt and pepper, hmm? kanpa cream and ashy elbows. Yeah. Hmm? White people and bungee jumping. In our country, corruption and the government are in a... a they, an inseparable marriage. They love each other, those people. Huh? Mm -hmm. Government has served divorce papers on corruption, but corruption is like, mm -mm. I need the how. I'm coming with you. Mm -hmm. I am, we are married in, in, in community of property. I'm coming. They say that the definition of insanity is doing something over and over again and expecting a different result. So South Africa, let's not be insane. Man, huh? Let's not be insane. This corruption thing is out of, just take a, uh, take a look at this. Uh, uh, We've analyzed it on gadget.co.za and we found that 20 million rand was spent just in the planning and design of the site initially, 10 million rand for the first three months of the maintenance of the site, and then 30, I think it's 33 million rand per year on maintenance and content management. It took two hours to set up this site and cost just 360 rand. That's 0.00015% of what the Free State Government paid for an identical site. And what did the Premier of the Free State, Braes, have to say? Promote myself for what? I can't promote myself for uh... I have nothing to do with all those things. I have nothing to do with procurement. What he means is, I don't care. Ah, you guys are proper dodgy job. Ah, ace. Mm -mm, ace and no, ace and no. In studio today to explain about this 40 million rand website, we have an IT specialist from the company that got the tender. Welcome to the show, Mr. Uh, uh, Megabyte Sibaya. Anton Megabyte Sibaya. Thank you, Lois. So I'm very happy to have this opportunity to explain this misunderstanding. Misunderstanding, like Chief. Guy, you can't hide 40 million in, in, on a website. I don't understand. How does that even L work? Lois, so I see, I see you are still buffering here, but let me interrupt you for a second. You are scared of 40 million. You are scared of this number 40 million. You know why? Why? Because you are poor. Eh? Lois, so you are not an IT specialist. What do you know about technology, Lois? Huh? And business and technology and technology bubbles. Do you know do you know what this thing is? That's a USB, my friend. Oh. You, you know some things. Okay. But do you know how many gigs you can put in this thing? Eight gigs. Huh? Eight gigs. Do you know what that you know my name megabyte? You can put eight thousand megabytes in this thing. And that thing is 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 it's hard to, to transport that thing. <laughs> this guy. Yo. Okay, so please explain to us what did the taxpayer's money get spent on? Okay, you, you see, Loi, so when we are building this thing, we ran into problems. And as to be expected, like for telecom, for instance, you know, it's so slow, they, you know, in the free state, it's very slow. So what we did is we got a helicopter. Helicopter. We got a, a helicopter, Baba, to transport this thing from one place to another. Helicopter. Yes, helicopter. No. Yes. Stationary helicopter. Uh, you know, moving the kosher food for some of our kosher members, helicopter. Hmm? Okay. Even if you look there on the website, you can go there now to the Free State website, you will see this beautiful picture of the Free State. That thing could only have been taken from a helicopter. You understand? Not from a back of a bus. Not from standing on a bus stop. No. From a helicopter. 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 So you just use helicopters for everything? Yes. Now you are getting at the hang of this thing, you see. Because I think helicopters are the key to success. Look at Napster. Look at MySpace. No helicopters. Where are they now? Eh? Look at Google. Lots of helicopters. Facebook. Lots of helicopters. We are the specialists in this thing. Bill Zuckerberg. Steve Gates. Eh? How are we supposed to compete with these guys when, when we don't have my helicopter? Because I'm a techno geek, Baba. It's our time. Okay, oh, one last thing I must ask. Are you wearing 3D glasses? 
Yes, because it's a part of the technological advancement. Because you are coming at me, Baba, clearly. I walk on the streets, I'm like, this is reality coming at me from all sides, Baba. That's how we must, we must not put ourselves down. Africa has been lagging behind of the internet revolution, the computer revolution, the digital revolution. I'm saying those days are over. We're here. And we're going to conquer that with 3D glasses. 3D glasses, helicopters, everything. Uh, you seem very sure of yourself and you've done so much work with the free state government. Why is it your website is not developed yet? Why? Why is not developed yet. Yeah, but you know how much jet fuel cost? Helicopter fuel. Now I must fly helicopters for my own purposes. Then you are going to say we are misusing taxpayers' money. I can't take taxpayers' money using helicopters for my own purposes.